Welcome to Be Home Resources, a place you can depend on for all your home ownership needs. My name is Kathleen Gano, your real estate concierge, and I'm excited to share with you how to maintain, update, and protect your investment. Today, we're gonna to be talking about renovating that kitchen. And I'm here with my guest, Charles Freeman of FBI Construction. Welcome, Charlie. Hi, thank you, thanks for having me. I love having contractors here, and as I understand it, you are a licensed builder. I oh, am. Yeah. So you've done building, construction, as well as some um, consulting for homeowners. Correct, yes. Awesome. Well, today we know that kitchen renovations are, you know, you ask anyone there, you know, do you want to update your kitchen or renovate your ki kitchen? It's always going to be a yes. Um, but we can go from painting cabinets to countertops and changing some pulls to totally renovating. Right. And totally renovating is really all about efficiency in the kitchen, maybe the design and layout of the space, as well as cabinetry and a bunch of other things. Mm -hmm. So help us to understand, let's assume that we are doing a full renovation. Help us to understand what do you need from me, the homeowner, to help get started um, in understanding the project and quoting it? I Realistically, at the beginning, I need you to understand your kitchen, what you're looking for out of your kitchen. Mm -hmm. Are you looking to change the kitchen? Or are you looking to keep the same kitchen, but just make it more modern? Uh, for instance, a lot of the old homes, they may have an island, they may not have an island, they may have a peninsula, may not have a peninsula. A lot of them didn't have islands or peninsulas. They were more of a, just an L-shaped kitchen. Right. Maybe had a small table. Uh, a lot of the family back in the day, they would sit in the dining room. Today, nobody's really sitting in the dining room anymore, so we're, we're adding islands or we're adding peninsulas to the kitchen, uh, and that's where your main source of eating and entertainment is today. Yeah, well, at the end, we have some tips for uh, and some information on trends mm -hmm. of what has been going on with kitchen designs. Um, so I'm going to meet with you, and what's important for me to have for you when we first meet do i is it the money do we do we need to understand that i i would say that the first off the bat uh you definitely want to have an idea of how much the budget's going to be yep. um first question should be approximately how much is a kitchen remodel how much is a bathroom model or whatever subject that you're talking about at that meeting at the home uh to make sure that they're understanding that you know a lot of times that with today's market the old prices aren't today's prices. So we right. have to make sure that we're all up to date and understand before we get too far into it that they can afford the project. Uh, after they do that, then we're gonna start going over, do you have your paint colors? Do you know what you want for appliances? Uh, are we changing the layout? Are we changing the light fixtures? Are we gonna gut this whole kitchen and start anew? Uh, make sure the electrical is up to code. Um, all these questions are gonna need to be answered before you can even quote the job. So, wow. So there's a lot to it. There's, um, so let's assume I am getting my kitchen. Right. What are the, what are the things, what kinds of decisions are you going to ask me to make? So this is going back to light fixtures back, you know, in the seventies, eighties, we had that center sail mounted yeah. light and that was it. So today we're going to be putting in a lot of recessed lights, uh, pendant lights, possibly over the kitchen sink, over the island or peninsula. Um, are we going to do a tile backsplash? Are we going to go granite, quartz? Yeah. We're not really doing Formica anymore. Some people do, but most likely we're going to go granite, quartz. Are we going to go with a painted cabinet, or are we going to go old traditional and go with oak or maple or, or uh, walnut or any, any of those other cabinet choices that you want? Awesome. What kind of flooring do you have? Yeah, right. A lot, yeah, a lot so it into. touches everything. Yeah. So uh, if you're doing a full renovation, there are way more decisions. Yeah, yeah. I've had a lot of the jobs we've been doing lately, uh, you want to take down. A lot of times those older homes, they have that, they have that wall separating the dining from the kitchen. We'll take that wall down. Yeah. Uh, so we'll make it more modern, take the center wall down, separating the kitchen from the living room. Uh, just re really create a, a whole lot more space and a lot more light. The old, old kitchens are much darker. Yeah, in fact, I was reading um, some of the top designers today are really in putting emphasis on natural light in kitchens now. Right. So yeah. windows and things are more important again mm -hmm. um, in, in the kitchens. So we have the consideration of flooring, cabinetry, countertop, um, lighting, mm -hmm. um, and efficiency of the flow of the kitchen. Um, at this point, I... 
I'm guessing I would need to talk to a kitchen layout designer of some kind. Yes, yeah. So we have we have multiple suppliers, multiple designers. Uh, so I would recommend you go see one of the designers if we're going to be changing out the whole design. Yep. Definitely want to go see a designer, get this all laid out. I need to have all these measurements exact in order to lay everything out, including possibly moving your kitchen window, right. uh, making sure all the electrical is in place. If we're moving dishwashers or stoves or refrigerators, the electrical, the water lines, all these things have to make sure that we're in place when we demo this kitchen and we put it all back together, they're ready to go. Right, right. So you mentioned electrical and plumbing, and I'm guessing those are permitted items for sure. Yes, every, every part of your kitchen remodel is a permit. Permit-related ah. item. Yeah. So who do, who pulls those permits? Uh, definitely the contractor. Homeowner should never pull the permit because you will not be insured. If anything was to go wrong, you won't have your HIC to be able to come back on that. Um, so definitely, always, always let the contractor pull the permit. That verifies that he's licensed and insured, and will keep you insured down the road if anything foreseeable is to happen. Yeah. And what is the process of pulling permits? I, I know. So uh, first we have to have a contract. Uh, right. So we have to submit a contract with the town so yeah. they know the work that we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna need a layout. So whether I'm doing a, a drawing or the kitchen layout is being done by a designer, yeah. uh, we're gonna submit a drawing so that they also know what's going on in the kitchen uh, from that process. So we're gonna, build, we're gonna pull out a building permit, we're gonna take out an electrical permit and a plumbing permit. All right, so all three of those will be permitted that will uh, understanding that this this is going to slow the job down because now we have to wait for inspections and whatnot. But we'll start with the permit process, and then from there we're going to order cabinets. Awesome. What can I do as the homeowner to really get prepared for this kind of renovation? What do you need from me? A paycheck. Oh, he, <laughs> he size the money, Charlie. <laughs> How can so, I make it go more smoother for you? Uh, to make sure it goes smoothly, we need, we really want to make sure all these decisions are made up front. Yeah. So we want to make sure your light fixtures, if you're doing a tile backsplash, your flooring, uh, cabinets absolutely have to be decided upon. These are the first items that we're going to order, uh, specifically your cabinets, because we could be looking at six to eight weeks order time. Um, so we want to make sure that that is all ordered and ready to go. Uh, we're not going to demo your kitchen until about four or five days before those kitchen will arrive. So okay. I want to maximize your time in your, in your existing kitchen. I don't want to come in there and demo your kitchen and then you're left stranded for six more weeks, so. Yeah, 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 I, I do have questions about timeline. Um, my first comment is that, as you were talking, was it, um, I'm a vision board, board gal, so mm -hmm. uh, having all of those decisions up somewhere, understanding, so I'm researching cabinetry, I'm researching right. lighting, appliances, you're telling me I right. have to know that in advance. So all of that, all of those decisions are actually made up front before yeah. we actually get started. Yeah, we have to make sure that anything that we're going to install inside your kitchen is on the shelf. If it's not on the shelf, we have to pre-order it and we have to know uh, the timeline. Yeah. So this is why I mentioned appliances. Sometimes your appliances are not on the shelf. You have to order these. They could, again, be four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. Um, where and it, then they where, come in damaged and you have to wait if even they longer. come in damaged uh, you know a dent or a scratch on it you know then we're looking at double the time so we want to make sure that a lot of these items are either in place on on site or at least arriving within a few days of us starting so it does sound like a kitchen renovation is um, more than just the renovation time itself um, as the homeowner and probably starting six months or longer or maybe a year beforehand doing my research, doing my, my, uh, my collection of what I want and the process of going through that, um, and then funding it as well, you know? Yeah, I don't think you need a year. I think you're probably looking at about six, to, six weeks to three months ahead of time to really get a grasp of understanding of what you're gonna need and to really make sure everything's in line and right. uh, finding the right contractor. You might need a little bit more time. It depends on finding the right contractor. A lot of us are busy right now. Yeah. Um, so making sure you can find someone that can do the job is also gonna be the tricky part and making sure they're- Oh, so that's a good on. point. So um, I know you said six weeks. I'm thinking I cannot make those many decisions in six <laughs> weeks, Charlie. There's no way. You know, so I'm a dreamer. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. change it four times before we get there. And, and there, <laughs> there are people that will change it four times <laughs> and will change it while you're doing. 
in it. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah. We, uh, so how do you yeah. handle those kind of changes? Um, yeah. And, so again, we're hoping that the major changes are taken care of before we start. And again, this is where the, the designers come in. They have this wonderful uh, computer script now where you're, Everything's 3D, so you can really yeah. see it all around. You can see it from the upper level. Um, so really important to have the design in place and to understand what's going to happen with your kitchen and what will be when you're done. Uh, so I guess you may need a little bit more time if you're undecisive right. just to make sure it, it is perfect. I mean, you're going to spend some money on your kitchen, so let's make sure it's done right the first time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the money. What, it, what is the average kitchen renovation? Average kitchen renovation today, uh, again, this is depending on what kind of cabinets you're picking, what kind of appliances you're picking. Right. Um, but if you go with mid-grade all around, you're probably looking at about a $50,000 bill. Yeah, that's about what mine cost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the timeline a little bit. So mm -hmm. we've made the timeline, not pre-starting, but you mentioned um, when you come in, you want to have as little downtime as possible. What happens in the first three days? The first three days of a full renovation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask the homeowner probably the day or two before I arrive is mm -hmm. to make sure that that complete kitchen is empty of anything and everything of all that personal products. That's the drawers, the, yeah, yeah. the, the cabinets, everything. I need everything out of that kitchen. Uh, I don't want to have to really touch any of your personal items. Yeah. Um, once that process is done, she gives me a call and says, we're ready to go on Monday. Uh, we'll show up with our crew. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the kitchen cabinets down, the countertops out, uh, and then start taking everything out from there. Everything should be removed from the site that day, brought into either a dump truck or a dumpster, making sure it's perfectly clean every day so you will be able to walk through your kitchen daily after we after we leave. So right. uh, we want to make sure no hazardous materials, no nails or anything sticking around. So, uh, but you're looking at probably about two days on the average to get this completely demoed out and, and removed. And then we're going to bring the electricians and plumbers in, make any code changes we have to. A lot of old kitchens today they have you know one or two plugs on their countertop, right. and we need a, a lot more plugs. And uh, the islands, the peninsulas, we're going to need plugs on the end of those. Uh, so a lot of a lot of extra stuff that we have to get done, as well as moving the lights and, and whatnot. And then we don't know what's behind the wall, right? So probably most likely insulation and all that stuff going forward as well. Yeah, that was interesting when they took the walls down in my, yeah, my house. Yeah, that yeah. things you find you realize don't why find. You, you realize why your house is cold? <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. I've had houses with no insulation, tin foil, newspaper, uh, maybe an inch if you're lucky. So yeah, so it's certainly going to be the warmest room in the house when we're done. Yeah, yeah. And I know that um, the coordination of contractors can be crazy. One of the values in hiring someone like yourself mm -hmm. is to make that happen. Um, the order of things, let's say you have flooring, electric, plumbing, what, what is the order of who comes in first, second, third? So after your demolition, we just uh, discussed that, where first one coming in is most likely going to be your plumber. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that all their work is done. Uh, then we're going to bring the electrician in. After we have the complete layout, we want to make sure everywhere these plugs and switches and everything is going to happen under counter light. And there's a lot that goes into it, making sure that we have all the electrical in place. I love uh, my under counter lighting. Yeah, yeah. We're most likely going to have to get to the panel because we're not going to have the upgraded codes. So we're going to need access to the house panel, uh, which means we're going to have to go through the basement. And hopefully we have access through there. We're going to have to make a couple holes in the ceilings down there. And we'll, we'll patch that up when we're done. Uh, so after the plumber and electrician comes in, uh, again, we're going to get inspection. So we need electrical inspection. We need the plumber inspection. Uh, that's if we're not doing any framing. If we're doing any framing, uh, before they come in, we're going to be removing your walls, putting down structural beams, LVLs, et cetera. Those have to be carried all the way to the basement. Uh, so keeping in mind that you know we may need access to that basement if we're going to start yeah. getting into the structural part of it. Uh, once we get past that, then we'll get those inspectors in there, all three, which is the construction trade, building inspector, electrical inspector, or plumbing inspector. Once those three are signed off, we're going to be doing the insulation. That has to be brought up to code. Uh, after the insulation is done, we're going to bring the building inspector back in to check your to check your inspection. You know, so mat, what is the so. timeline for that? So inspections are typically one per day. You may be able to piggyback and get an electrical and plumber inspector in the same day, but I wouldn't count on it. Yeah. Uh, most likely it's going to be one at a day. So 
right there, I just told you, you just lost four days of your project just waiting on those four inspections. Right. Once those four inspections are done, I call it the home run stretch. It, it still looks like a, you know, a bomb went off, your house is torn apart and your open walls and whatnot. But once you get past that structure and we start getting the drywall on, that's when the product will really start speeding up and head home. And we already know the cabinets were delivered and the appliances are, are right. accessible. Yeah. And so um, putting it together after that point, what kind of timeline would you be looking at so we're gonna no we're gonna bring the borders and plasters in. We'll get that done. We're gonna need a few days to let the plaster dry. Yeah. Uh, we can bring some dehumidifiers in it to, to speed it up a little bit, but we don't want to let it dry too fast. You're gonna get some cracks. Right. Uh, so we're gonna make sure we, we do it timely, but at the same time uh, understanding the product. So after three or four days, that's done. Now we can come back in and we can start putting the finish on, which is gonna be your cabinets and upper cabinets and making sure everything's you know in place and where we want it. Uh, also got to get your flooring in, so I don't know if we're going to be doing tile, we're going to be doing hardwood. Uh, if we're going to be doing hardwood, I'd probably say let's do your hardwood first, first so we can get the finished product on. I'll usually say you want three coats of polyurethane on that, so I want to come in, I want to get the cabinet, I want to get your flooring in and then get one coat of polyurethane on for protection. Yeah. Then we're going to come back and do all your finish. And at the end of the product, we'll put your second coat and third coat of poly on. What's the last thing that happens? Uh, last thing that's going to happen is going to be your electrical finish um, because you want all your painting done and whatnot. So the electrical covers and whatnot go on last. So okay. last thing that's going to happen is going to be a painter and possibly your last coat of polyurethane. Okay. I want all the foot traffic done before we finish up on that floor. Yeah. And um, we didn't really touch on countertops. So granite or um, uh, quartz, mm -hmm. is there timeline-wise, is there any difference if you choose one over the other? I think it's all the same time, uh, yeah. unless you order a product that may not be in stock. Yeah. Uh, but the warehouses we have around here today, I mean, we have we have a warehouse over here in Marlboro that uh, has got about thirty million dollars worth of product in stock. So I think that we can most likely find what you're looking for and and have it installed. Uh, we do want to make sure that they're lined up. Again, like every other trade, we have to understand that their availability and make sure that when as soon as those cabinets are in place, we get the template done. Uh, to expedite that process. So um, what are some questions you, we should ask a contractor to determine if I'm t we're talking to the right contractor? I would make sure that you're licensed. So ask your contractor, are you licensed? Are you insured? Uh, what kind of referrals do you have? How did, how did you hear about the contractor? That's probably the most important thing. How did you hear about that contractor? I would say Nine out of 10 times, it's gonna be word of mouth. It's gonna be your friend, a relative, a colleague at work. Um, certainly do your background check on that. Make sure that if you can find out anybody that you ha that has had work with this customer, maybe, you know, say, hey, uh, how'd he do? You know, was it, was it timely? Was the price accurate or very close to it? You know, if we made changes, you know, how did that work out? That kind of product. Yeah, so testimonials on did yeah. they deliver what yeah. what they said they were going to deliver right. and in the time they said they were going to deliver right. it. Yeah. Um, what tips do you have for us um, for doing such a large-scale project while living there? Um, be patient. So <laughs> if, if you're married, uh, it's... <laughs> I tell people, I says, if you're going through a full-scale renovation on your home and you didn't get a divorce when you're done, you should be all right. Uh, <laughs> this I'm is just true. all joking aside. This is but, definitely uh, true. <laughs> it is a stressful process. Um, you have you have strangers in your home, so not just me. You have to you know keep in mind there's a lot of people coming through your home. Uh, it can definitely be stressful. Um, don't vacuum and sweep and, uh, and start dusting every day. I'm gonna just br bring the dust back tomorrow. <laughs> I had one customer, she, was, she would go in there and she's dusting away every day. And I said, I'm just gonna make another mess tomorrow. You don't have to do that. But, um, but at the end of the day, you know, every, everybody has their little quirks. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would say uh, just be patient and make sure your decisions are made. Most important is just having all your decisions made to make the job go very smoothly and we'll be in and out as fast as we can. Right, and um, I, I think I heard you say select your appliances and everything up front. Yeah, have all your selections done do your and all your decisions made. The, the less changes, the faster the job's gonna go. Right. Uh, you certainly don't wanna you know, get through three quarters of the job and then have somebody say, let's, let's make a change. Can be done, but it just costs more money. 
Right, so. right, right, right. Well, I certainly know that over the years there's been um, many uh, changes in the kitchen. Uh, the 1980s yeah. versus yeah. The, the 1990s versus the 2000s. And you mentioned the, the, the the islands have grown yeah, uh, and yeah. they just keep growing. Right, yeah. They're huge. Yeah. Uh, so those are trends. Some of the newer trends that I'm seeing on um, on sites that I talk to and designers are the dark stains are coming back, mm -hmm. um, color, uh, lots of color, two-tone cabinetry. Yep. Um, and then again, there is a focus on lighting, open shelves um, and yeah. some glass cabinetry mm -hmm. um, so you have the doors with the glass um, is there anything else that we should know about doing a renovation that we didn't talk about today Charlie I think we covered most of it uh, it's really it's really everything that we already talked about making sure that your product is chosen find the right contractor uh, making sure the permits are pulled it's insured um, but the only other thing I could recommend is make sure you let your insurance company know that you're doing work on the home because you have to notify your con your insurance company, let them know that you're renovating the home as well. Uh, so that's probably about one, one aspect that everybody forgets about is that you are supposed to call your insurance company, let them know that you will be performing work in the home and there will be permits pulled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I really appreciate you coming today. I love yeah. working with you. There's, um, you have such great knowledge, expertise, and you have great integrity in your business. You always deliver what you say you're going to deliver, and then some. I personally have um, enjoyed working with you. <laughs> well, thank you. It's always a pleasure working for you. Uh, she usually has her decisions made, so it helps a little bit. Not always. <laughs> yeah, not always. But um, So uh, whether you're doing a do-it-yourself or kitchen renovation, or whether you're upgrading your kitchen and renovating totally, it is really important to hire a contractor, a licensed contractor, to help you with your projects. Um, <clears throat> you will be happier. It's such a great investment in your house. Um, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining us, Charlie. Thanks, if you have any tips or ideas for topics for us uh, or any questions about your house, please email us at the email on the address on the screen. And we want to even, and we would also like to earn the right to be your real estate concierge in the future. So we invite you to join us on Facebook, Be Home Resources. Again, I am Kathleen Gano. I am signing off for today. Be well and live well.